Hey guys, it's me Holy Depp, and today in this episode, we we'll jump into session high checking. And I have to clarify that this video is for educational purposes only. I do not encourage any hacking activity here. And this animation is created by HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to help my viewer easily to visualize how session high checking works. Okay, got it. Now let's dive into the main point. All right, guys. Let's follow my step to see what is session hijacking and how session hijacking works. All right. Come to step one. Let's imagine you're in a coffee shop, and you're using public Wi-Fi, and you're trying to log in in an unsecure website. That website does not use uh, HTTPS and it does not use uh, any secure layer, so that's a, a risk uh, to allow the attacker to show your session ID. Okay, in the login page, you enter your username and password to authenticate with the server, and if the credentials are correct, the server creates a session. The server generates a unique session ID, in this case is ABC123, and sends this to the user browser, typically through a cookie. So what next? So what next? The attacker appears, and the attacker might be someone else in the coffee shop. The attacker is using the same network as you, and instead of uh, trying to log in in an unsecure website like you, the attacker is using Wireshark or Nmap to capture uh, the package, and he uh, will exploit vulnerabilities to monitor traffic between you and the server, and in this case, it is an ID. While using Wireshark to capture the packets, he can see um, your traffic, and because the website you're using is not secure, so the attacker can see your session ID. The attacker will um, interrupt and co collect the, ses the session ID, and this process can be done through man in the middle attacks or cross site scripting, and if you're a cybersecurity learner, you might be know about um, a an extension that uh, I don't remember it clearly, but um, it's kind of a steel cookie extension on Chrome. It provides a uh, a practice for cybersecurity learner to um, practice session hijacking. And so. Now the attacker has your session ID, right? Come to the next step, impersonate. All right, the attacker now, he will use your session ID and send it back to the server and pretends to be you. And he's logging in the website using, and if you save your sensitive data like address, phone number, or even kind of your love or nickname or something like that, and he will store them all. We steal them all, okay. So the next step is session. Um, the attacker done the session hijacking. So how can we, who uh, learn cyber security and even the user can protect ourselves from session hijacking? Here's a protection method. You can use um, HTTPS, I mean, uh, secure layer. Uh, most of the website uh, in the modern day now um, use um, secure layer, but um, I do know uh, in some school, even in Vietnam, they do not use secure laser, secure layer, they just use HTTP um, protocol. And you can um, use uh, HTTP only cookies and short session timeout. For the short session, like if you're a web creator, you can set the session uh, around one week. 
because if you keep the system too long, and the attacker will yeah, have time uh, to exploit more sensitive data to, uh, of the user. And uh, if we set the session uh, around one week, after one week, the uh, attacker will be automatically logged out and the user uh, can set the password again and yeah, he will know uh, he can use the um, secure um, Wi-Fi uh, by using VPN or other things. And um, as a creator, we can use uh, multi-factor authentication. Um, like Bitcoin, I don't know. Um, or like if you're using Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin um, uh, website, uh, you might be um, know um, it will use um, Google Authentication. The uh, the one who log in in um, Bitcoin website will have to uh, download Google Authentication. That's kind of a multi-factor authentication. And if you watch until the end, you see I also create a um, Vietnamese version for uh, the system hijacking side. So um, I I also display it uh, on GitHub, and yeah, I will um, give a deploy URL in uh, this video description, and yeah. If you watch until the end, or uh, you can, or uh, you the one who usually check the description, you can jump to the side and see how it works. So, um, if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you find um, any definition, uh, any uh, definition, and you find it hard to understand, you can comment below and I will see and try to create a anima an animation to visualize how it works and of course provide a, um, an explanation. So, okay, um, I think it's, um, this is the end now and Alright, see you guys next time. Bye.